Hello GameHead, like every other month, there are dozens of brand new mobile releases to play and the list can be a bit overwhelming. So let's help out a bit with our list of the very best new mobile games for Android and iOS. Okay, let's start the journey, shall we? Starting off strong with an eye-catching Netflix exclusive, we've got Dust and Neon. Play as a Wild West cyborg cloned back to life by a mad human scientist to fight off the robot oppression in a world taken over by human-defying robots. Enjoy classic hitting action as a badass gunslinger permeating with the Old West style. The game has a third-person view reminiscent of Space Marines with fast-paced action and roguelike elements. It also has gorgeous graphics fix a variety of engaging mission types and unique bosses. At number 9 is Pocket City 2. I really enjoyed the predecessor and Pocket City 2 really expands on the engaging town building simulator. It brings more buildings to build with a bigger open world to build around. But really interesting addition is the ability to explore the town as the mayor and experience your world from an NPC's point of view. You can also customize your avatar, build and furnish your house, play mini games, trigger fun events, complete quests from NPCs while exploring a lot more. It's an amazing expansion that lovers of building simulator like myself will find ecstatic to play. Number 8 is Dead by Daylight. The massive 4 vs 1 horror multiplayer franchise is now available on your mobile devices. Play as either one of the 4 trapped victims or the unstoppable killer. As the victims, you can solve puzzles and find clues either as a team or betray your comrades to be the last one alive. The killer job is simply to hunt and sacrifice the victims to a mysterious entity. As a direct port from the console and PC, Dead by Daylight comes with iconic characters from some of your favorite horror franchises, enjoyable moments, gory and beautiful graphics, chilling music and scary environments. In the end, it's a just game for adrenaline-loving horror fans. At number 7, we've got a really promising FPS shooter, Rush Legends. An interesting indie first person shooter that mixes fast paced shooting action with war runs mechanics and special ability to give you a really intuitive and honestly pretty exciting premise, especially for mobile devices. The game has polygon graphics that super with 4 maps currently and several characters to choose from. You can also use double wielded guns, assault rifles, snipers, etc. The game is very promising but comes with tacky controls and very limited events and interface controls that need a lot of work. At the 6th spot is yet another Netflix subscription game, High Water. High Water is a post-apocalyptic turn-based strategy with heavy story elements. Amid a great climate catastrophe, you, a survivor in High Tower, a kind of safe zone in a turn-up place. Upon hearing rumors that the rich are escaping to Mars, you travel a submerged world by boat as a humble survivor picking up friends, battling insurgents and stealing food, all while trying to find out if the rumors are true and possibly make it onto the rocket headed for Mars. The game has beautiful graphics, turn-based action, memorable characters, a massive world building and storytelling and breathtaking music. At number 5 is a fan recommended game, Project D90. A really fun yet difficult platformer with colorful pixel graphics. Its playstyle and game mechanic is reminiscent of old school battle RPGs, and I'm not complaining. A simple retro 2D action platform game that combines the excitement of sword fighting, space shooting, spider rides, and more. Encounter new challenges and lots of action. Get ready for flashy boss fights, challenging levels, and interesting powers and abilities in an elusive title brought up by my very smart fan. At number 4 is an MMO sci-fi strategy game, Dreamland. An amazing game that combines three very fun aspects, exploration, harvesting and building, some of my favorite genres in gaming. You play as a crew that crashed an alien world in a spacecraft carrying the last hope of humanity. In this endless quiet desert, work hard to survive by constantly planting crops and mining resources. Improve your skills, collect more resources and repair you and your crew's spaceship to go back home. The game offers dozens of unique characters to play with simultaneously, a big map with real-time players, base construction and expansion mechanics, and more. 
It's a pretty decent game that's sadly not available in a few places including mine. At number 3 is a beautiful narrative adventure, Lost World Beyond the Page. In this lovely and beautiful title, you play a narrative created by the famous game writer Rihanna Pratchett. Follow a tale of a girl named Izzy throughout her exploration of the enchanted world of Historia. The entire story takes place in Izzy's personal diary entries that will unfold as you explore a fantasy land where words hold immense power. There is an emotional undertone laid out across the title as Izzy tells a story through her journal for her sick granny and it's up to players to help her finish her tale using words to manipulate her environment. There are plenty of puzzles to solve and platforms to navigate, all presented in a visually stunning watercolor X style. The game is emotional and beautiful with gorgeous music, breathtaking 3D visuals in a 2D world and a massive storytelling. At number 2 is another Netflix exclusive, Liar's Horizon. Enjoy the thrill of free falling in this beautiful game that is a welcome mix of Sky Children of Light and Otto's Elder Sea, all in lovely poly graphics. Using the power of the wind for people, fly across beautifully rendered landscape, completing challenges and collecting coins and other collectibles. Just enjoy the ecstasy of flying around a free open world. Meet interactive people, upgrade your flight abilities, and unlock charms to enable you to fly longer and maneuver much better. The game, in the end, is a lovely open world adventure game that seems delightful but also requires a strong device to enjoy, as most Netflix games come with poor optimization. And the number one spot is The World Has Gone. A fast-paced zombie basher, set in a post-apocalyptic world, your job is to survive by searching for resources in the wreckage of humanity and rescuing possible survivors. All right, fighting of all sorts of undead, from slow-witted decapitated zombies to incredibly fast, tall mutants. Play alone or with free AI comrades to increase your chance of survival. Explore, gather resources, complete giving objectives, and return to your base. The gameplay is very fast-paced and enjoyable. We train action and satisfying zombie passion and the controls are pretty simple to learn. In the end, it's a really good game, especially if you don't like being alone during a zombie apocalypse game. Okay, that does it for today's list. Which new game will you be playing? Let me know in the comment section and don't forget to like and subscribe. We are at 250 subscribers and I couldn't be more ecstatic about it. It's your host, Pidoc. Thanks for watching. And I'm out too.